Ian Green, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful neighborhood, Spring Hill City View, right? Yeah. How long have you lived here? I've been here almost four years. Really? Why did you pick this neighborhood out of all the 90 neighborhoods in Pittsburgh? Uh, when my wife and I uh, were engaged, we were looking for a house and we both decided north. We were just like, north. Because uh, I was in Homestead and she was in Hazelwood. And uh, we just were north, so we just drove north <laughs> for like two hours. Just drove around all these like crazy streets up crazy here. Crazy streets. Yeah, and uh, it was. Uh, we kind of you know weren't hitting anything. We we stopped on all the lists we we found for the houses. Nothing. One last street. I said, well, okay, we're done. Let's just make this left. And there it was. There it was. Yeah, the sign. It wasn't posted on. The internet or anything, so just um, just waiting for y'all. <laughs> yeah. Just waiting for y'all. We like pulled over, and she's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, I snuck into the backyard, and I was this like, "This is, is where we're gonna get married." Oh. We just need to buy the house. <laughs> oh. And then and then this uh, little German guy came up with the wax mustache, and he comes walking down the steps, and uh, they give us a tour of the house. So we were like our own realtors, kind of. We just sort of. Oh. Did the whole that thing. is a beautiful story. It was great. We had an offer that night. Yeah. Did you get married in the backyard? Yeah. You did? Oh, oh yeah. how beautiful, yeah. Ian. That is fabulous. Yeah, we had this awesome garden. We got married in the garden for all our friends and family. Oh, so yeah. you find that there's a lot of green space here? Oh, yeah, tons. Yeah? yeah? We have like a little kind of farm space where we're at. Huge backyard. You guys are like in the suburbs, but really in the urban It's area. like being in the country. Yeah. It is. The loudest thing here are the birds. Oh, Which is nice. that is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you about since you bought a house recently. You know, this is a million dollar view. I mean, any place else in the world, you're going to pay for this. Um, just across the river, you know, this quarter million, you know, yeah. easy 2.5 million in Mount Washington. What are the houses like here when you're talking about financially? Is it expensive or? No, no it's really reasonable. Yeah. A lot of houses between like 30 and 80. That's unbelievable. This is like one of those little best kept Pittsburgh oh, secrets. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can't even find the place. You have to get lost to find Spring Hill. Uh, that's a great way of putting it. Yeah. Gotta yeah. get lost we, to find we it. We got lost to find it. That's, that's an excellent way of putting it. <laughs> so tell me, if you were to change, how, how do you see Spring, um, Spring Hill City View in, say, 25 years? What does it look like to you? Not very different. Uh, I, I, I can't see there being. Uh, uh, many improvements I would make, other than maybe a, like a, like a cafe or a, a health food store, something somewhere we're up here where you could get good healthy food. But. Good healthy food at a reasonable price. Yeah, yeah, very good. So you have to leave the neighborhood to get some of the amenities that mm -hmm. maybe another neighborhood wouldn't. Yeah, we hit down the hill, but we're out and about so much that it's kind of like we make it part of our pattern. Ah, I see, I yeah. see. So, do, is this a place that you find a lot of bike? Bicyclers, you know, just keeping it green. Is that? I see, I see a lot of cycles coming up the hill, but probably not as many as you'd have in a in a flatter neighborhood. Right, right. right. Uh, the the winter time can be a little tough. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. How do you manage these hills in the winter? Bravely. Bravely, <laughs> I love it. In bravely. With front wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. If you were to go to another neighborhood in Pittsburgh. And you said, wow, look at that. I would like to see that in my neighborhood. Or, ooh, look at that. I don't want to see that in my neighborhood. What neighborhoods would that be and why? Mm. I, I can't honestly say that I've, I've ever had that thought. Right, right. You know, um, because there's a, there's, a, there's a nice little, what I like about this place, I find it so different, is that it's, uh, it's kind of sleepy. You know, so there, there's Mayberry. a pace here that's like just real slow. Yeah, yeah, it's got the Mayberry. Lay that, that Mayberry for you, <laughs> laid back, relaxed. Yeah, and I don't, I don't find that in really any other neighborhood. Mm. That there's always that like hustle bustle city city. Yeah, city everything's thing going moving. On. Yeah, everything's moving. So, yeah, it doesn't really answer your question, but uh. <laughs> no, actually, it tells me that you wouldn't emulate any other. No, yeah, I, this I, is unique into itself. How how old is this neighborhood? Do you know? Oh, I have no idea. Mm. Yeah. I was looking at some of the houses, and I can recognize some of the architecture. Some of these places have got to be done in like the early 1900s because oh, the yeah. architecture is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. So, did you, when you bought your house, did you come in and find an old house and refurbish it, or you just kept it the same way? Or we pretty much kept it the same way. It it has everything it needs, so we just got to really just move in. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It found you. It really did. It really did. <laughs> it found. Is this a diverse community? Not as much as I'd like it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's changing though. I think you it's do? I think it's become a little more diverse. What do you mean in changing? Well, Are you finding younger families or yeah, children to move yeah, in? Yeah, a lot a lot more younger families moving in. Well, it seems to me like um, th like many neighborhoods in Pittsburgh, um, you might have a, a mother, a grandmother, and a great grandmother, and sister and brother all in the same neighborhood. Do you find that here? Yeah, I find that 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 generation is um, is kind of. Uh, near its end that's why a lot of new people are moving in uh, uh, the house i i bought had uh i think it's uh, about 100 years old mm -hmm. um and the one next to it that we have is um uh, is very old too the woman lived her whole life in it right and she was uh i think she was like 70. so uh and uh, george hetzel who was a pretty famous painter landscape painter right uh, they lived in that house they lived all down that street the hetzel houses up Rockledge and down Hetzel are, uh, yeah, they're kind of like a little bit of history there. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. wonderful. I love that. Um, if you, if somebody came from out of town and you said, I'm bringing them to my neighborhood, where's the first place you'd take them just to show it off? Oh, I'd, I'd take them for a walk up to the cemetery. Isn't it beautiful up there? Yeah that's, yeah, that's like one of my favorite places. Well, I think it's just some place to just to be creative. Mm -hmm. You just sit there quietly and be creative. However, I've been up there with your mom and dad to watch fireworks. It's fabulous. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you when you were about this tall. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I can't believe you are just a giant now, but I can remember when you were just a baby. But um, if um, if you were to um, say invite somebody from another neighborhood here to bring them here, where are some of the landmarks you'd take them? Other than the cemetery? Um, oh, I'd, I'd take them into the woods. Really? Yeah, yeah. We have a we live like on the on the top of a finger, and the greenway stretches out down and beneath. If I look from my backyard. About 45 degrees down and two blocks away is the next like house. So there's just these sweeping forms and uh, really nice trails Beautiful. going through little deer, deer trails. Um, I would take them uh, along, uh, I think is it, is it South Side Street, up along that way and head up to that top of the hill over on that side. Um, wow. It's just, it's such a walkable town. There's oh, okay. everywhere to go. It's more that, like, to, to me, it's not the one still point a view it's the, the flow okay because i have a dog so i'm walking this dog like taking new paths every okay. day. and they're always good i always come back like oh wow i just saw a whole bunch of stuff that was yeah do you of, have a lot of wildlife here yeah you yeah. do a lot yeah. of deer a lot of squirrels some raccoons yeah some raccoons i've heard about them lately <laughs> we had a fox in our yard when we first moved in beautiful well we weren't sure how beautiful it was because it was <laughs> Kind of walking towards a strange, in a strange place, like way. You're not for sure how beautiful that is. <laughs> Ian, I want to thank you for inviting us to your neighborhood. It's thank beautiful so up much. here, Appreciate and congratulations it. on finding or having the house find you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you.